Leonidas and his 300 Spartan warriors find themselves encircled by Persian forces. The Spartans skillfully parry each attack with their shields, facing a relentless onslaught resembling crashing waves and stormy chaos. Their spears thrust like lightning, piercing through the Persian ranks, but the overwhelming numerical superiority begins to take its toll as many Spartans fall. Shields shatter, spears snap, and in a strategic retreat, Leonidas and his 300 Spartans ascend a hill for their final stand. Abruptly, an arrow pierces the great king's chest, and as he falls, his blood mingles with the earth, etching the Battle of Thermopylae into history as a breathtaking spectacle. Yet, the question arises, how accurate is the depiction on screen? The truth behind the Thermopylae narrative is more remarkable than Hollywood dramatizations. The Persian invasion of Greece stemmed from a thirst for revenge. Xerxes, ruler of the Persian Empire, sought to avenge his father Darius's defeat at the Battle of Marathon, a failure that haunted the Persian ruling family. Darius, despite reigning over an extensive domain from Egypt to West India, had been unable to conquer Greece. Xerxes, fueled by a determination to crush Greek insolence, launched his own invasion a decade later, this time with legendary Spartans joining the fray. As Xerxes advanced towards central Greece in 480 BC, Athens pleaded for help, uniting various city-states against the common threat. The Greeks faced a formidable Persian force estimated at 100,000 to 300,000 soldiers. To counter this, the Greeks needed time to organize a defense, leading to the choice of Thermopylae, a narrow pass defended by a small Greek force. However, the plan faced challenges. Some city-states hesitated to join, while others openly supported Persia. Undeterred, Sparta and Athens, recognizing the gravity of the situation, pressed forward. Leonidas, chosen for a critical mission, consulted the oracle at Delphi, learning a grim prophecy. Either Sparta would fall, or one of its kings must die. Leonidas, undaunted, embraced the sacrifice for the greater good. Gathering a force comprising 300 Spartans and allied soldiers, they reached Thermopylae in late July or early August. The stage was set for an epic clash. Spartans, seasoned in war, employed the phalanx formation effectively in the narrow pass, rendering Persian numerical advantage less impactful. For two days, the Greeks repelled Persian attacks. Xerxes, frustrated, sought a different strategy. An informant revealed a hidden mountain path, leading behind the Greek lines. Persians used this advantage, turning the tide. Leonidas, aware of the imminent doom, allowed most soldiers to retreat, choosing to make a final stand with his 300 Spartans. Facing overwhelming odds, the Spartans fought fiercely, but the end was inevitable. Leonidas fell, and the remaining Spartans fought valiantly until arrows rained down, ending the resistance. Xerxes, in his rage, desecrated Leonidas's body. Yet the sacrifice at Thermopylae echoed beyond defeat. The story inspired Greeks to unite, ultimately leading to victories at Salamis and Plataea, thwarting the Persian invasion. The legacy of Leonidas and the 300 Spartans persisted, a symbol of defiance and sacrifice against overwhelming odds. The battle, though, shrouded in myth and dramatization, left an indelible mark on Greek history, resonating with a spirit of resistance that defined an era.